In this video, we'll use a TI-8384 calculator to compute the coefficient of determination, capital R squared here, and also construct a residual plot. Okay, here's our data, the height x, the circumference y, they give us the correlation coefficient and least squares line. We'll get that information on the TI-83 anyway. So let's put that information in L1 and L2, stat, edit, and then here we have L1 and L2. I have the x values here, explanatory, and then the y response here. All right, now we need to find the uh, coefficient of determination, R, capital R squared. We do that by hitting stat, calc, and then down to line reg, number four, enter. And in, on the calculator, it's little r squared, but that's, that's the coefficient of determination. In a percentage form, this is in decimal form, so move the decimal two spots to the right and then round off, so 89.1%. And that's the coefficient of determination, it's that easy. And now we need to construct the residual plot. We go to the stat plot, we go into the stat plot one, we turn it on, hit enter so that the on is highlighted. We go down and we hit enter so that the scatter plot is highlighted. We go down here to X list and make sure the L1 is, is in there. If not, then you click alpha and go second, number one. So the L1 is there and we want residual here. Now we don't type that in. It's actually uh, a name. And where we find it is under second, stat, and number seven, there it is, resid. So we click that and then enter. Then we can go to zoom nine. That would be the zoom stat. And then there's our residual plot. Now, which one is it? Well, you have to look closely. You can also choose trace to trace the data points by going over here. It shows you the X and then the Y values if you'd like to do that. There's two that are pretty close. We've got this one and this one. Actually, they look exactly the same, don't they? The only difference is that this one is height as the x values, and then remember when we did the uh, L2 is the y value, that's the residual values, so that would have to be on the y, the second one. So this is always x would be the height, and then it's plotted against the residuals. So this would be the correct answer. This is not because of the labels are incorrect. So that's how you would find the coefficient of determination and construct a re residual plot with data on a TI-8384 calculator.